my name is Katasha and welcome back to Broken Sword Shadow of the Templars. We are here. Right, I need to talk to him. <clears throat> I need to talk to him. Ow, I just I punched my pardon. desk. Are you Andre Lobino? That's me? You want my autograph? No, I was told you may be able to help me. Help? My name is George Stobart. I'd like your professional opinion. Well, okay, shoot. Okay. Does the name Montfaucon mean anything to you? Sure, it was the most grisly spectacle in Paris until the revolution. A public oh. toilet? Montfaucon was the place of execution for many thousands. A dark temple of death with row upon row of arches, each one framing a grim exhibit. Scores of rotting corpses swung on creaking rope, while the crows devoured their flesh. Well, that's fascinating. That explains the image of the hanged man. I found a reference to Montfaucon in Ireland, in a village called Lochmarn. Lochmarn? That's where Pegram was digging. That's right. He'd left the excavation before I arrived. Okay, looks like we have that is a creepy ass picture. Didn't I say that last time I saw this picture? I hate it. Do you know Pegram well? Not really. I met him at a conference. I would have liked to talk to him in depth, but I didn't have time. When was this? Oh, yeah, back in the summer, uh, July, I think. July? Wasn't a lot of things. Didn't I'd a lot like of things your happen in on July? A medieval manuscript. Vraiment? Do you have it with you? No, it's too fragile. And besides, there are certain people who'd stop at nothing to get their hands on it. Intriguing. Uh, do you have a copy of the text? There isn't much. Only a few Latin phrases. I was kind of hoping you'd help decipher the pictures. Without seeing the manuscript, uh, that's a tall order. Just tell me one thing. What does the image of two men riding on the same horse suggest to you? The Knights Templar. Does the okay. temple seal appear on this manuscript? I'd love to see that for myself. The manuscript is being looked after by a friend. In Paris? Yeah. Not far from here, in fact. Well, okay. Uh, well, we're getting some information. And I'll, uh, come around and take a look. I'm not so sure about that. Maybe I should check with her first. A female friend? Yeah, she's a woman. Yeah, of course, Nick is a woman. Who has the manuscript? Ah, uh, we, oui, uh, the anonymous girlfriend. She lives at 361 Rue Jarry. Ah, I know it well. I'll drop by just as soon as I can. I don't like can that attitude. Can you tell me anything about the Knights Templar? I sure can, Georgie. Soldiers, <laughs> diplomats, mercenaries, monks, bankers, you name it, the Templars fit the bill. The greatest fighting force in Christendom, the Militia of Christ. Jeez. How did the Templars get huh. their name? From the building in which they set up their headquarters. The A king temple. of Jerusalem gave them part of a mosque on the Temple Mount. It was said to have been the site of the original Temple of Solomon. The order became known first as the Knights of the Temple and later the, the Knights, Knights Templar. Templar. You're a mine of information, Andre. Glad to be of help, Georgie. George, it's George. How come the G. Templars became so wealthy? There was a constant stream of new recruits to their ranks, many from noble families. They were required to swear a sacred oath of poverty, chastity, and obedience. So their money, goods, and lands were donated to the order. The Templars soon held land in France, Scotland, England, Spain, most of Europe. In fact, oh, the shit. poor Knights of Christ became the wealthiest power in Christendom. Bloody hell, they definitely did Is it true the treasure of the Knights Templar was never found? Ah, uh, who knows? So little knowledge of what really happened remains. Or if it does, the truth has never been made public. What do you mean by that? The Templars have attained a mythological status, like the King Arthur of the Britons. There are people even now who say the Templars still exist. They kind of do. Do you do. think that's likely? No, not for a minute. Uh, I think sorry there, Lobinor. I think you the tripod is going to be stolen. The uh, Lochman tripod? No. It's true. I can give you a description of the thieves. 
before the supposed event has taken place? I heard them planning the raid. They're wasting their time. The tripod is protected by a state-of-the-art alarm system. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. Why don't you loan the tripod to me? For yes, because that is because totally I've never seen it again. going to But work. don't you trust me? It's no. not a question of trust, George. That tripod is hundreds of years old and extremely fragile. I get your point. Do you? Do you really? Have okay. you ever heard of the Hashashin? Hashashin? Why, yes, it was a radical Muslim sect whose name became synonymous with murder. Murder. It was formed in 11th century Persia shortly before the Crusades. So much information. At roughly the same time as the Templars. Yes, they gave a new word to our language, assassini, the assassins. How did the assassins well, get damn. their name? From the legend surrounding the secrets of their initiation rites. A young man who sought to join the sect was given hashish until he drifted into dreams. He awoke to find what? himself in a fabulous garden with everything he could wish for. The freshest water, the most delicious food, the choicest hash, and the most delectable women imaginable. Cool. What's the dude hide? Nice? I haven't finished the story. <laughs> there was a price to pay for this taste of paradise. Wouldn't you just know it? The young man would wake the next day to find himself back in the real world. He was told that he'd been given a glimpse of a heaven reserved for holy martyrs. A heaven he would enjoy for eternity if he was willing to join the Hashashin. Uh, How did the what information operate? about the Hashashin? Well, as I explained, the new recruits would be only too willing to die for the cause. And that sounds They'd like they'll be instructed a lot of in the use of the dagger, poisons, and disguise. Then the Grand Master of the sect would name an enemy of Allah, and they'd stop at nothing to eliminate that enemy. You got it. They were fearless and deadly. That's Does a little concerning. Does the assassin still exist? Take a look around at the world today. You tell me. I mean, where was the site of Montfaucon? To the northeast, near the Canal Saint Martin. But there's nothing there now. The old gibbet was torn down during the revolution. Hmm. Interesting. Does the guy in this photograph look familiar to you? No. No. Let's go for all the stuff. Nose, Let's go for all. all the it stuff. It really doesn't interest me, Georgie. Oh, you're gonna get grossed out. What does this tissue mean to you? Grossed out. Nothing. Grossing out. Damn it. I'd like to shake you by the hand, Andre. Not no. now, Georgie. He's gonna get them does one day. Does this matchbook mean anything to you? Alamut is the name of the place where the Hashashin were based. Oh. Where is it? Oh. Somewhere in what used to be called Persia. I'm not too hot on modern geography, I'm afraid. The most recent map I have shows America as an English colony. Okay, that's what do interesting. What you make of this ID card? Nothing. Nothing. Uh, that is not a good idea. What do you make of this? It's the biggest gemstone I've ever seen. Where did you get it? It's a lock mine. From jewel. Professor Pegram's messenger boy. Did uh, Pigram find this on his dig? Yeah, the site where this was found was a Templar castle. Do you think it could be part of the Templar treasure? No, oh, I shouldn't think so. You're not one of those crazies who think the Templars still exist, are you? They do. Uh, well, I try to Look, keep an open mind the fact mind that we're that. going through all this effort, the Hashashin exists and the Templars Thanks for your help, exist. Andre. You're welcome. Like, there's so much effort here. Look at me and look how much I know about the nice Templar. Yeah, he guess he didn't know about the Hashishin. Okay. So let's leave. The Monfason. I don't think I pronounced that right. I'm very sorry. Excuse Sup, me, dude? officer. What do you know about the Knights Templar? They don't Only that they were excommunicated in 1312 and hanged in their dozens within this very square. Boy, what they teach in the police academy these days. No, monsieur. I read it on that board over there. Shouldn't you That's be in traffic or something? You have seen the Parisian traffic, no? Yeah, so? I could direct the traffic. The most dangerous, the east side of Rome. Or I can sit here and enjoy the sun. The architecture, 
and the Soso Sauvignon. Which was so, your so, choice? Soso Sauvignon. Sorry, this is yeah, but funny. Yeah, but I'm not a policeman. What happened to duty? An excellent question, monsieur. Well then. Have you seen this man before? No. Who is he? Uh, I believe he's an murder? international assassin. Oh. That too. Is that all you can say? Oh. I did oh. wonder if I should say that I believe you to be an international paranoiac, but it didn't seem polite. Does this matchbook mean anything to you? The pattern looks Middle Eastern. I mean, you're not wrong. Take a look at this. Ah, an electrician. What do you think of this? A blood pressure sleeve. Would you like to shake? I stopped myself barely in time. Electrocuting a cop would not have been smart. They rebuilt the Bastille just so they could throw me in and throw away the key. <laughs> Aww. Does this red nose mean anything to you? Aha! A prosthetic nose. Very significant. It is? No. no. I am just having a little joke. <laughs> what do you make of this green <sighs> pink stained tissue? Delightful. Would you like to see some of my used tissues? Hell no. Then please put yours away. Look at this gem. What do you think? Cut glass. No, it's not. It's for real. What kind of madman would go around waving a priceless gem under people's noses? So either it's glass or I'm mad? I didn't like to think about that for too long. I'll see you around. We oui, monsieur. I'll be okay. there. Hello. Let's see. In French, English, and German, it read, In 1312, Pope Clement V dissolved the knightly order of the Templars and excommunicated its members on charges of nice? heresy. In the following two years, many of the knights were hanged on this site. Their Grand Master, Jacques de Molay, was burnt at the stake on an island in the Seine. I couldn't open it with my bare hands. Hey! Hey, you! What do you think you are doing? Leave that cover alone! Now! Sorry, mm. no harm intended. You stay away from that! You stay out, yeah. Wow, okay. I didn't have time to sit around. Whoa, this place is pretty. Ah, uh, Templar, 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 Templar. Ah, oh, so a looky look. A scroll was a symbol of scholarship. I knew that much. A scholarly knight. That rang a bell. A very Spanish bell. Okay. On the end of the staff was some kind of disc with a cross on it. Mm -hmm. Around the base of the disc was a hairline crack. Well, I could have just taken the end off the staff, but I wanted to be sure what I'd be getting out of vandalizing a church, other than deported. He's got a point. He's got a point. A stone knight lay at the end of a row of four. I wondered if this guy had died in combat. A stone knight lay in full stone armor, blank eyes looking at the ceiling. Carrying all that armor around must have been hard work. Probably. In comparison to its neighbor, it looked pretty plain. Okay. I didn't recognize the biblical story in it. I was a Sunday school dropout. I wouldn't know either. Somehow, it looked more modern than its neighbor. Really? Why can I look at this one over here? Walk, 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 walk. A knight there in the company of his fellows. Biblical references engraved into the tomb edge to guide his way to the next world. My guess. Okay. Uh, 
I don't quite know what I'm supposed to do here. A statue of a knight holding a staff and a scroll. If the statue had any secrets, it was concealing them pretty well. On the end of the... Yeah. I could see that what had at first seemed to be a fine engraved chasing oh. scroll was actually writing. Per disciplinum meum lux videbus. Sounds pretty familiar to me. Per disciplinum meum lux videbus. Holy a shit! The glass window. Wow. Hoping for a big insight while squinting through a hunk of statuary had been pretty optimistic, I guess. Okay, that's interesting. I did not expect to be able to do that. In comp somehow, on the end of the staff. Okay. Per discipline. I'm just gonna look through again. A bit of a stained glass window. Wow. Hoping for a big insight while squinting through a hunk of st had. I'm not sure. Okay. Okay. I didn't have time. There's nothing else I can do in here. So we did get some insight on stuff. But, um... Not a lot. I'm not quite sure what to do. Maybe I go back to Nico? Can I talk to him again? Hello again. Hello. No. I'll see you around. Venus. Uh, Cafe Vougerie, which is Nico. Back at Nico's apartment. In Nico's Hello, apartment. Hello, Georges. Oh, there we by go. the way, I had a visit from Andre Lobino. Oh, yeah. I hope you didn't mind me giving him your address. Not at all. It was lovely to see him again. He was over the moon when I showed him the manuscript. It's not often he gets that excited. He made a sketch of the Knight's Crest to take back to the museum. I believe he's identified the family who bear that crest. I sure hope so. Okay. Do you think the assassin was responsible for killing Marquet? I don't think so. He could have finished him off the first time. Not Besides, wrong. Marquet would have recognized him. He was pumped to the gills with sedatives. He wouldn't have that recognized too. the four horsemen of the apocalypse unless they'd introduced themselves. I'd better get back to the quest. Okay. So... I'm not quite sure what I'm meant to do. I'm a little, a little stumped. Hi, Andre. Hello, Georgie. Hey, I visited Nicole's apartment. Ah, uh, here we go. Yeah, she told me you came by. Ooh, quite a fine Georgie boy. I didn't expect anything quite so sexy. I hope you're referring to the manuscript. Well, we, of course. Yes, of course. What did you make of the manuscript? It dates from the time of the Crusades. We guessed that from the Templar seal. It's a story and pictures like a modern day comic book. What story does the manuscript tell? I don't know. It was probably produced for the tourist market. Tourists? Oh, we pilgrims in our thousands on our way to Jerusalem. The tourist trade is nothing new, you know. It's been around for centuries. Ever since Joshua made a packet selling souvenir bricks from the walls of Jericho. Have you deciphered any of the images on the manuscript? There's yeah. very, very little I can be sure about. The slang of the bull could be a reference to uh, Mithras. Who's he? A Persian god, almost as popular as Christ at one time. The only okay. thing I can be sure of is the knight. He's Spanish. How can you tell that? 
The writing on the shield, the reference to Ave Maria. No self-respecting knight from Northern Europe would have borne a coat of arms like that. Okay. Can you identify the knight's coat of arms? I already did, Georgie. He's a member of the De Vasconcellos family from the Costa Calida. Were they famous? Wow. No. They're not mentioned after the 15th century. Oh. The uh, spotlight of history moved on. They are probably long dead. I don't think so. Thanks for your help, Andre. You're welcome. I don't think they're dead. But I also have no fucking clue what to do. Hello? Can't go to... Uh, was not expecting to be able to go to a new country. straight through the water. That's freaking hilarious, Hi. my dude. Is this the De Vasconcellos house? Who wants to know? I could tell the old coot was going to be trouble. My name's George Stobart. I was wondering whether... The house is not open to the public. This is the De Vasconcellos house. And what business is that of yours, senor? Look, all I want is to speak to the head of the household. There is no household. Only the countess and myself. Tell and me about he the wants Countess to speak to the Countess. She doesn't receive guests. That's all you need to know. You don't even know what I have to talk to her about. She hasn't won the lottery, has she? No, she hasn't won the lottery. A more cunning man might have claimed that she had. Oh, yeah? They might have, might they? And that more cunning man would have been kicked off the premises. The Countess doesn't do the lottery. What do you know about the Templars? <laughs> Jesus, oh, that actually worked. Know. Are you angling for a bribe or something? You have nothing that I want, senor. Except the pleasure of your absence. The guy Look was the obviously hose. protecting the, the Countess so against weird. the whole world. But why? Do you recognize this man? No. I don't suppose I don't this red I'm nose get means anything any to you, does it? From ah, this guy. El Flojo. El who? El Flojo. He is a clown on state television. Oh. What is that noise is he says good? after he says he El Flojo? He is escapees. Without the laughs. Look at this tissue. Like it's a, a tissue noise. with some greasy muck on it. Yes, that's right. <sighs> Would you like to shake hands? I do not think so, senor. Do you recognize this matchbook? I don't smoke. It's pretty here. This lab pass mean anything to you? Nothing. Nothing. What do you make of this? So that's it. You're a salesman. If I was hawking medical supplies, I can think of better places to hawk them. See this gem? Men have died for it. Do I look as if I care? No, you really don't, my dude. I'll be going for now. Adios, senor. I'm no student of architecture, but the little building looked old. I wondered if it was some sort of summer house. I wonder what happens if I walk over here. Can I walk in? He seems to be busy with the hose. Hey, you. Ah. Yeah, what is it? You would not like it if people just wandered into your home, would you? Well, no, I guess not. Then show a little consideration. Okay. Uh, sorry. Okay, that was a weird camera thing. I didn't like the idea of carrying 30 yards of hose around me, so I left it alone. The hose ran from some... Um, oh my god, no way. 
No, wait. George? My horse has stopped. Yeah? See, si. my horse never stops. Well, I'm sorry to hear it. It's always sad when an old tradition comes to an end. Did you what? have anything to do with it? Well, no. I'm shocked. I'm mortified. How could you think such a thing? How Very could easily, you? How senor. dare? Very easily. I'm going to find out why my horse has stopped. And that okay. means going into the house. Yes. You are not, absolutely not, to go in the house. If you do go in the house, I will set the dogs on you. I don't hear dogs, so I don't think there are any. And um, by the way, why can't I go into the house? There, are, there are dogs. Hey. You, I know you are there, American. All right, you dogs, I'm coming. Um. Let's go upstairs. Oh, hello. Who are you? My name's George Stobart. I'm sorry to burst in like this. You must leave at once. You're not wanted here. Please, if you just listen a minute. Very well. State your business, business. then your stubborn. Knights Templar, There's madame. been a series of murders, part of some conspiracy. Anyway, the trail led me here. The, the, the here. thingy. There is nothing for the outside world here. Over 600 years ago there was. What do you mean? No, like this a whole thing, thing ties in somehow with the Knights Templar. The Knights Templar are dust. They had a secret that was so important, they went to a lot of trouble to hide it. I do not see what this has to do with my family. Your family had a strong connection with the Templars, right? I believe that they've planted some clues here. They, they... <laughs> Why should I believe a complete stranger who barges into my home? Just let me have a look Sir? around. If I find nothing... You'll be spending the night at the police. Station. Very well. Please sit down. Oh wow, okay. I Thank know your family is involved with the Templars, but I don't know how. You should be asking how my family were involved, Senor Stobart. The Templars ceased to exist centuries ago. And as for the De Vasconcelos, the line dies with me. I'm sorry. Don't be. Okay. Okay, Whatever well. happened, happened almost 700 years ago. So, if the Templars left any clues, they're going to be in stuff that dates back to the early 14th century. Obviously. So, what do you have around here that's early medieval? Early medieval. Let me think. Well, the house is relatively modern, a scant three centuries old. Or, of course, the chest set. That chess set is over 600 years old? It must be worth a fortune. Indeed it is. Not that I would part with it, of course. No, of course. I wouldn't either. Uh, that's the sort of thing that gets handed down to your children. Sorry. Its value is less than you might think. The set is not complete. One of the pieces is a modern replacement. As to the original, it was lost a long time ago. Nobody has any idea where it is? No. Hmm. The children had it when they were taken. Children? What children? All in good time, Senor Stobart. Okay, May I examine the chess set? Certainly. But do not move any of the pieces. Okay, thanks. Close oh, up, so the modern piece stood out like a sore thumb. There was something else odd about the set. All of the original pieces had irregular bases. My lady, I have to warn you, there's a... You! Why, I'll feed you to the dogs. Lopez, what have I told you about feeding intruders to the dogs? But, my lady... Never without my permission. Okay! Senor Stobart, if I find that you're wasting my time, you will be fed to the dogs. Now, I want to show you something interesting. 
Pardon? Why would you trust Stopa? I'm sorry. Why would you trust him? He just like walks into your house, is like spurting stuff about the Templars and everything. Oh uh, yeah, I Lopez, can kind of see it. Unlock the door, por favor. This is the only remaining structure on the estate contemporary with the Templars. Nice. What is it? A summer house? A mausoleum, Senor Stobart. Oops. Oh, come with me. Well. Hey, Senor. Yeah? I do not know what you have told my lady to be shown these favors, but I do not trust you. You've That's got fine, nothing Lopez. to worry about. Aren't you coming in? No. The dead do not interest me. My garden is a living thing. I will be there. That's fair enough, Lopez. Wow, this is old. It was constructed in the 13th century as the final resting place of the De Vasconcello Templars. It's well maintained. These wow. are my ancestors, and they deserve respect. I come here at least once a week to say a prayer for them. Mind if I have a look around? Uh, by all means. Okay, Spain. We're in Spain! I'm sorry, I didn't recognize the flag for it. Okay. <laughs> Lebanon tells me the knight's coat of arms belonged to the De, Ves the De Vesconcelos family in Costa Calida, Spain. Must figure out what the family has to do with the manuscript. Lebanon was right. The fa I'm, I. Vasconcelos? Is that how you say Vasconcelos? Uh, heavily involved with the Templars, the Countess chessboard dates back to the era, there's something odd about the chess pieces. Okay. A big statuette of the Virgin Mary kept an eye on the place. On removing the Bible, I found a pattern on the lectern top. Hey! It's a checkerboard! What? Close up, I could see that the pattern was made up of glass squares over a checkerboard pattern. Close up, over a checkerboard. Now what? Feeling like an idiot. I couldn't climb up there without breaking something. Now what? Feeling like... Okay. Hanging from the ceiling was a huge yellowed candle. It looked really old and had never been lit. That's interesting. The mausoleum contained five tombs for five of the Knights Templar, man size in marble. Space for another one. Okay, Countess Stephen. Uh, you may ask. <sighs> Who I'm exactly are try. these people? My ancestors. These five men were all members of the Templars. Five okay. ancestors in the order. You must be very proud. Not uh, five. No. Six. Six? Where's the sixth knight? He was lost to us. You lost an ancestor? It is a family matter. It can have Probably no Probably one relevance. of the, um... Well, it's connected with the curse of the de Vasconcelos, isn't it? Yes, Vasconcelos. Uh, I hope you will honor my desire not to talk about it. Okay, well, I'll leave it for now. Um, probably one of the bodies in Is the. Is the Virgin Mary uh, really the right Lonte person Fasson? to be sharing a mausoleum with five knights? You are showing your ignorance, Senor Stobart. The Templars were dedicated to the Virgin Mary. Okay. What's the story with the glass chessboard? A glass chessboard? Oh, the pattern on the lectern. Purely decorative, I'm sure. There are pieces of glass missing from it. Oh, it has been like that since I was a girl. The gaps in the glass chessboard look awfully Probably good. put, like, the chess no, pieces in it. It is ridiculous. What possible significance can it have? It's part of a chessboard. And the gaps are for three, two, Stobart. one. You cannot mean this place was built for the Templars. Your chess set is as old as the Templars. It's kind of suggestive, isn't it? I think this must be it. This is what the manuscript is pointing to. 
This is extraordinary. Kinda, yeah. I'm, I'm intrigued. Am I to understand that the Templars left a puzzle here? And in yeah. all of this time, we failed to realize that there was a puzzle? It was wonderful to watch the Countess change before my eyes. Right. Well, no time for wallowing in self-pity, eh, Senor Stobart? This mystery has had a good <laughs> long run, but it ends here and now. All those years of fatalism were falling away from her. Lopez! Lopez! Put that hold down and listen! Go to the house and get my chest set! Yes! The old chest set! Okay. No, hurry! Okay. This is <laughs> Jeez! Is it not? Don't get too excited. I, this could be a blind alley. Oh, I do not believe that for a moment. It's good to see you happy. Happy? <laughs> you know, I think I am. While we're While waiting, we wait I'd really like to know what happened here. I mean, the curse and everything? It all began at the time of the dissolution of the Templars. Okay. Don Carlos had already left their ranks to become a scholar. Don Carlos? Is he the guy who went missing? Si. Uh, but he had reckoned without the local bishop. The bishop envied us our lands and determined to use the papal edict as an excuse to destroy us. Don Carlos oh, wow. was on one of his scholarly journeys when the Inquisition arrived. When Don Carlos returned, it was to find his loyal manservant slain and his children gone. They took the kids? <laughs> but why? Excuse well, we me. Will never know. The bishop denied all knowledge of the children's disappearance. But witness. Could that have been the children she was talking about before? the servant who had been charged to protect them. What happened to Don Carlos? Uh, he swore he'd find his children if he had to go to the edge of the world. He put on his armor and took up his sword and shield and rode out alone. He was never seen again. Wow. Ah, Lopez, you have the pieces. See, si, my lady, as you asked. Por favor, Senor Stobart, would you be so kind? My lady. Of course. Calm yourself, Lopez. I believe Senor Stobart's motives are pure. Very well, my lady. This is getting interesting. This is getting interesting. My lady seems to trust you. But you don't. No, no. Senor. Of course he wouldn't. I was to say, can I do something? It fits, Senor Stobart. It fits. Working quickly, I found which pieces went into which holes. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay. Uh, click on the unplaced piece, it will turn to reveal a pattern on its base. Otherwise, click any hole on the board and it will show its pattern. Each piece must be dragged to the corresponding pattern to drag the piece. Okay. If you try and put a piece in the wrong hole, it will jump back to its side. Oh! Okay, that's intriguing. Why won't it... Pieces aren't moving. Hang on. I can't get the pieces to move. I wouldn't do this otherwise, but these pieces will, are not moving. Uh, broken sword. Shadow of the temp. Templar. Chess. Puzzle. I just need to get the pieces to move. Or to get onto the board. Okay, hang on. Hang on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. No. Okay. 
Okay, apparently there is an issue with this where clicking a dragon doesn't always work. So green, white, red, blue. Is there an order I need to do this? Okay, we had a slight complication. Red, blue. With the red pieces in place, the square bases fit onto the white pieces. I just had to figure out where to place them. Okay, that's intriguing. Can I place them anywhere? Yes, I can. <sighs> Jesus, that made me jump. Okay, so they can't go on, they only can go on the red spots. Okay. Okay, looks like they can only go in the middle. Okay, I'm gonna have to write this down. So we've got the, that's a queen. We've got a bishop and we've got a horse. We've also got one, two, three, four, five spots. So I've done queen, bishop, horse. So we're going to leave the queen at the top. We're going to go horse, bishop. Uh, horse, queen jumps, jumps one. And this is, this is only if, this is if one of these go up the top. I could have been a smarter way of doing that. that. It's not. It's not the Holy Grail. Scared me! No, Senor Stovak. It is the communion chalice of the Devas Concelos, missing for almost 700 years. Wow. Well, How go does on. That open? I, I cannot. I can hardly believe it is real. Ah, go ahead. Live a little. I was sure. This is your moment of triumph, Senor Stobart. Sure, I'm sure. The possibility of death traps only occurred to me a few days later. A few days later? So the curse of the De Vasconcellos is lifted? Oh no. The Countess was thrilled to find the lost chalice. But there's still the riddle of the missing knight. Well, you can forget about that now and get back to finding the Templar's secret. Uh, actually, I promised the Countess I'd find Don Carlos. 
You what? I can explain everything. You have got the odds for a withered old Spanish aristocrat? The Countess entrusted me with the chalice and the quest for her ancestor's tomb. You're as crazy as she is. Haven't you got enough problems? Khan and the Templars? It's all part of the same thing. The chalice is important, I'm sure. The manuscript pointed us to the knight, and I have to find him. What then? I don't know. But when the knight and the chalice are reunited, maybe I will. So honestly, that's scared the shit Is there something going on happening? between you and Laban? <gasps> what business is it of yours? We agreed all this. The clown, the Templar, strictly business, remember? Yeah, but... So get off my case. I mean, she has a point. He doesn't need Do to Do you know. think the assassin was responsible for killing Marquet? I don't think so. He could have finished him off the first time. Besides, Marquet would have recognized him. He was pumped to the gills with sedatives. He wouldn't have recognized the four horsemen of the apocalypse unless they'd introduced I've already done that. I'd better get back to the quest. <sighs> yeah, and give me a fucking heart attack game. Looks like love. Okay. How these kids taken from that day? Since then, the now Paris and show Nico. Promised the Countess I'll find us. Now I've got the chalice. Now to follow that lead from Ireland and explore Mon Montefasson more. I'm going to save and. Prepare from that heart, uh, recover from that mini heart attack. That was, that was scary. <laughs> Can't believe that. But we've got a chalice now. We're getting a little bit more on the Templars. And we're over halfway. And I just noticed that like, the game was at 53% when we started. So we're over halfway. We are getting there. We're getting there. We're getting close. We're going to go find what is up with the shadow of this Knights Templar and everything. But... That is all the time I have for this episode. So thank you all so much for watching. I'm hoping you enjoy this adventure as much as I am. Tell me what you think about it in the comments below. Like and subscribe and I shall see you guys next video stream. Bye!